Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Virgo is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger. And I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Virgo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here's a two of cups. This is all love. All love. Um, not just romantic love, family love, platonic love. This is divine love. This is a, a sense of purpose. This is you connecting with something. Yeah. This is you finding that which really resonates with your heart. Okay? Really beautiful card. Let's put this into some context. What are we finding? What are we resonating with? What are we, what are we doing with this kind of connection? Well, we are succeeding. We are living our best life. Um, this is a union that will result in the, the best life scenario, uh, the fulfillment of your absolute ideal life, right? Ten of pentacles. Got an ace of wands here. It does spark something in you. It is this, uh, it is kind of lighting up your consciousness, lighting up your, your creative energies. We've got the universe card behind us, we got a, look at that, ace and a ten of wands. Oh, now an ace of swords. Interesting. Uh, this is really cool, especially if we think about the universe card and, and this as being um, kind of without, without direction, right? Kind of uh, floating around, a little bit maybe lost, maybe just not sure of really where we want to go, what we want to do. There's a lot of certainty here, okay? A lot of certainty there. We've got the princess of pentacles. It's kind of, it's taking the, the unmanifest universe and it's manifesting it into the world, into the natural world, the physical world around us. Okay. So in one sense, this is your unlimited possibilities. And when we have unlimited possibilities, it's kind of daunting. We've got too many possibilities. It's unlimited and it's kind of like, it's nothing is materializing yet. I think we're getting a sense of direction. We have the ace, we have the ace. Right? We have the 10. We have the 10. We're getting a sense of direction. We're finding this unity within ourselves. We're, we're picking a direction. We're finding that inspiration. We're finding that which just sets our heart on fire, right? And we're accomplishing something and we're now we're manifesting that best life. This, this is really, really special. We've got the moon card. It, is, it does take a little bit of courage to walk through this future into this unknown. We've got the Libra energy with the Justice card and the Empress to end. Wow, this this got to be the best reading ever. It's got to be. Um, we see the darkness here of the path, okay? And that's that's really true, especially when we've got Ace, Ace, we've got a Two, right? It's really, these, these cards are kind of at the beginning of something. The, this is the end that we're looking for. These, these are the ideals that we want, fire to earth. The absolute... Uh, highest potential that we're capable of. This is you setting your, your bar really, really high. We're aspiring, well, to the whole universe, you know. Um, this is the absolute highest potential, and we're manifesting it. This is our ideal, fire to earth, fire to earth. That's the process of creation. And it's a 10, it's maximum. You know, we're achieving everything of which we are capable. This is our goal, this is our ideal, okay? And this is us with the certainty, with the love, with the devotion to do it. We're feeling inspired. We, are, we have fallen in love with this, and we, we know what direction we're taking. The, the path is still a little bit dark, right? The moon card says you don't know what the next step is exactly. You know you're going to take it, but it might be a little bit scary, right? And that's the moon. Uh, it's a new moon energy. It is saying that every moment 
is, is, is uncertain. The next step is always darkness. We can never be sure about anything in life, right? We have no idea what's coming next. I don't know what the next moment is going to bring. I can be 99.9% .9 sure that the sun will rise sometime in the next 24 hours, uh, but I can't be 100% sure. There's no way to have that kind of certainty about anything. So really, every moment is a step into the unknown. And I think you're willing to do this because you have your aspirations, you know what's on the line here. And it's like you're, you're settling for nothing but the absolute very best, that empress energy at the end, right? And uh, so we're willing to take the risk and step into the darkness. You know, and I think that what we've got with the Libra energy here, the, the balance, the scales, justice, the adjustment card, is realizing what we're willing to risk, right? If something is 99.9% .9 sure, I'd bet the farm on it. What if it's only 90% sure? What about 80? Still good? What about 76? 50%. Then what do we do, right? And that's kind of what the uh, Justice card is all about, trying to figure out where we draw the line. What kind of odds are we willing to still bet on? Okay? And I feel like in your, you're, you're really betting the farm on this. I feel like this is worth all of the risk. If there's only a 1% chance that this is going to happen, you're still all in. That's how much you want this. That's how much you believe. That's how strongly you feel about it. But there's a lot of practical energy too. You know, um, just because we want something this bad doesn't mean that it's a guarantee. Again, there's no certainty. But even if there's just a, a sliver of a chance that you can manifest that Empress life, and the Empress life, this is really the best life. This is you living that best life because the Empress is an energy that if, if you take care of this, if you nurture this, if you put your love and your heart and your devotion into it, you're going to get that right back. Right? This is you living in a world where, where um, it's, it's paradise. Right? It's the land of milk and honey. This is a very special reading. And it, maybe this is the best reading for Virgo that we've ever done. In the past position, oh, wait, you know what? Mystery card. Let's not forget that. We've got to select the mystery card, and this is one random card from the Smith Waite Tarot. And we'll set it over here. We're going to put our very own Kelly Kapoor right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together, and it will give us the confirmation that we need. All right. If at any point during the reading you have a hunch about that card, you feel like you know what it is, put your prediction down in the comments, okay? Uh, we can do it together. We can make it a group exercise. Let's take a look at the major arcana energies that we have. We have the universe, moon, adjustment, empress. Yeah, we're starting here. We're starting in this vast, wide open, limitless, there's no restrictions, there's no, there's nothing. This is emptiness, right? What do you want to put in here? What do you want to manifest? If this is empty space, this is, you know, you buy a house and the, the walls are bare. What are you putting on the walls? What kind of furniture? What, what, what are you going to paint the color? You know, what, what's your rug going to look like? You know, um, how are we going to furnish this empty space? Well, this is the furnishing. This is now, this is the space now full, full of life. Everything is grown Everything is filled in, the flowers are blossoming, and the, the trees are bearing fruit, uh, or nuts, whatever you prefer. But right now, there's kind of this idea of unlimited potential, blank canvas kind of thing. So maybe you are starting a new era of your life. Maybe you're buying a house. But I feel like there's this wide open land in front of you, wide open space. And it's up to you how you're going to decorate it right? The furnishings of the space. And I feel like you know exactly what you want. You already have this ideal picture in your head of, it, of what your paradise would look like. It's going to look like this. It's going to be your creative will manifesting exactly 10 to 10, one to one, an exact match, your will and what manifests, what you desire, what you feel inspired to. And this is your creativity. 
Nothing is getting lost in translation. It's 10 to 10, 1 to 1. Okay, and um, the ten, of course, of pentacles is your best life. This is the image of your best life. This is that, you know, the, the picture that you painted to be like a scale model. It's like you created a little, you created a, a vision board or something, you know, or a scale model of your life with down to the, just the most precious detail. Yeah, and it's all an expression of your spirit, of your creative will, of your essence. And this is your ideal. You've got that scale model built, right? And now it's just a matter of planning the next steps, going forward with this certainty. There's clarity here. And we need this going into the darkness because that is, this is kind of like the torch that lights our way. Well, so is this really. But the aces are the torches that light our way through this darkness of this moon energy. We don't know exactly what the future is going to hold, but we know what we're trying to do. We're bringing our light, our creativity, and we're bringing our discernment. We're bringing a very clear head, right? We don't have all the answers, and that's okay. We'll light the way as we go, right? As we go into this future, we're bringing our light with us, and therefore every step is going to be illuminated as we arrive in that moment, okay? And it really is because you have this connection, you have this love, you're in love with something, and this you feel so strongly about this. And everything, love is the glue that's holding all this plan, this whole life path together. Okay, really is something special we got here. So the Ace of Swords is certainty, but it doesn't mean knowing all the answers. This is confidence and clarity and certainty, even when we don't have all the answers. We don't need all the answers. We're not asking question after question after question. We are taking our powers, our skills, our talents, taking ourselves into that dark next step, and we're figuring it out. So I feel like you're very adaptable. You know, I feel like you're a problem solver. I feel like you, you jump into something and you figure it out. You're not someone that has to really plan everything ahead of time. You know, maybe you were like that at one point. I feel like that's kind of a Virgo quality. But in this case, you're not, you don't need that. You know, this is the only air energy that we have. We've got our major arcana. We've got our fire. We've got our water. We've got our air. We've got our earth energies. Okay. But we don't have... Um, and the air and the water that we have, our, our feeling and our thinking, our heart and our mind, are so perfect for what you're manifesting. Otherwise, what do we have? We've got fire, earth, fire, and earth. We've got this power of manifestation, this direct line of taking your will and implementing it, taking your, your uh, inspiration, your impulse, and it manifests as behavior, as reality, in, in your world, as a physical thing. That is the act of creation, fire to earth, fire to earth. Your heart and your mind, those human qualities that usually interfere with our impulses, with our, our um, process of creation, you know, fire to earth, it's usually the heart and mind that get in the way, not yours. Your mind is acting as the perfect uh, conductor. It's like that silver or gold or whatever the perfect kind of conductor of electricity is. That's your mind right now. It's able to perfectly translate your will into action. Your, your inspiration into realization. And your heart, your heart is pure. It's a direct one-to-one -one connection. Your heart knows exactly what it wants. There's no mixture of feelings here. It's pure. This, that's why this is the best reading ever. This is the best configuration of energy ever. But you're not being blinded by your heart or your mind. You have this spiritual discernment. And that's your ability to, to judge and balance and weigh things and um, you know make decisions and really have this kind of balance to you. We're not just frantic and manic and all over the place. There's a, a control. There's a kind of a professionalism about you right now, you know? And back to this universe card, I feel like you didn't always have this certainty, this purity. Maybe you were kind of 
at one point aimless. Just We're just kind of floating around out here in space, doing different things, trying different things. Didn't really have a sense of purpose or direction. Something changed, and you're getting that now, okay? And we're now we're manifesting here. We're getting the life that we want. I think you have a strong connection with the natural world. I think you're somebody that likes nature. You like to be around, you know, plants and animals, trees and lakes, rivers, streams, that sort of thing. Um, I also feel like you're someone that really values like having a hearth, you know, like a fireplace, a central fire in your house. I feel like fire, fire is very important to you. I feel like you're the, you're the camper, right? Like you really, you enjoy going camping and having the campfire and sitting around in the woods by the fire. That sounds like the ideal uh, kind of vacation for you, you know, or maybe not vacation. Maybe that's life, you know, um, whatever it is, you're going to have that. The, everything is out there. We've just got to collect the materials, gather the wood and do it. You know, so in a sense there, there is infinite resources available to you for you to utilize. It's just, it's a matter of you activating this energy and taking those resources, collecting those resources that you need. All right. And we know that everything outside of our central campfire is dark. You know, you, you've been camping, you know what it's like. You've got your campfire. But everything out there around is just pitch black, right? It's dark. We can't see anything until it gets kind of close to the fire or until we bring the fire out into the darkness. You know, if you're looking for a spot to use the bathroom or something, right? You got to bring your, your light with you. And that's what we mean here with the, the fire energy here and this moon energy. We, we can't see everything that's around us. We can only see kind of what is going on right now in our consciousness. Okay, but we know that this paradise is is out there waiting for us and we just have to keep on this journey. This is absolutely fantastic. The Empress energy is that land of milk and honey. And this is this is you kind of being willing to sacrifice a lot to build this life that you want. You're willing to endure the hardship. You're willing to go camping and go hiking through the woods to get to this place. You know, a lot of rainy days, a lot of sprained ankles, a lot of scratches, bumps and bruises, a lot of hard days, long days, because you know where you're going and you know what this life is going to be like. It's worth the effort that you're, that you're putting forth. It's worth kind of the, um, I don't want to say suffering. It's worth the hardship of getting there. It's worth the difficulty. It's worth the climb to get here. Very nice. Very perfect. We're going to look at that mystery card now. And um, I want to see another 10. I want to see a 10 of cups here, right? I think a 9 of cups would be pretty cool, but just to have another 10, I think, would be, would be awesome. If you have a prediction, I want you to put it down in the comments. All right now's the time. I'm thinking 9 or a 10 of cups here. Let's see what we've got. Another moon card. Well, how about that? Another moon card. Um, a doubling up of this kind of uncertainty. But, I, you know, what the moon also is about is, is kind of the... Um, you see, we, especially when we look at the Thoth deck, because we see that sun down there at the bottom. And this is a card, both of these, you know, the, this energy, is talking about being on the threshold of the most amazing change in your life. And it could be that it, things may seem dark right now. It may seem like we can't see the steps in front of us, but maybe this light is really, maybe, maybe the daylight is dawning, right? Maybe we will have the rest of the path illuminated for us. And so maybe it's not really going to have to be uh, a gamble. Maybe it's not going to be, we're going to have to figure out the risks. And if it's just, you know, what are we willing to bet? Uh, depending on the odds, maybe we don't have to worry about that. Maybe that's why this card's in the position of the of what we don't want. This is this is what we're overcoming when this sun rises. When we arrive at the threshold of this, it almost feels like we're standing at the top of a of a great height, and we can see everything out below us. You know, and we can see that sun is starting to rise, and the light is starting to shine on 
the way forward, everything's becoming clear. And maybe that's just it. Maybe we have to wait for all of that realization to take place. That's why we're not asking questions. We're not demanding to know. We're just waiting patiently, waiting with certainty. Because we know that the sun is going to rise and the rest of this path will be revealed to us. This is, the, this is, this is glorious. I love this. Uh, we're going to do an extended reading as well. If you want to stick around, there's a link in the corner. There's one down below. New readings for Virgo, usually every Tuesday and Saturday. I felt the need to do a bonus reading for you today. I feel like this was an important message that had to reach you. Okay. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. And it really helps out the channel. Uh, I want you to leave a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I like to see how widespread our audience is. We have people from all over the world watching. And I really enjoy seeing that. I really, really do. Uh, and I read every every single comment. I'm trying to do better about responding to them, uh, but sometimes they come in so quickly that um, you know I have a hard time keeping up. But I'll try to do better. Uh, anyway, I want you to know that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you, and we're all in this together.